Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel and I am a fashion reseller over on Poshmark. You can find me at the Scott Cottage on Poshmark. You can also find me at the Scott Cottage over on Instagram. So as you've read in the description, today is gonna be a what sold video. I typically do these um, monthly. However, my sales in August have been pretty decent. So I'm going to do a what sold from the 1st of August to the 15th. So for the first half of the month of August, just to give you an idea of how the sales have been. So in the month of July, I made $557, but this was after all the Poshmark fees, cost of goods, etc. cetera. Um, and just this month in the, fir the first part of August, I've made $388 so far. So if it keeps going and trending the way that it is, I should come out about $776 to $800 this month, which is really decent for me. So um, yeah, so August is going pretty good. I would say that it's slowed down kind of mid-August, um, but it has picked up the last few days for me. So I think back to school, people have been busy, you know, getting their children back in school. So the sales have been a little bit slower towards the middle of the month. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and hop on to, into this video. So I'm going to try to tell you when uh, some of these were bundled sales. I did have a few bundled sales this month, which was awesome. So the first item was a bundle sale. So this was two different items. The first item was this New York and Company dark gray blazer. This is a size four. I will say some of these items I did sell that were older, so I didn't make a huge profit off of this stuff. Also, uh, closet clear out was running during this time. So I did sell some things from closet clear out that was older inventory. So it didn't sell for a huge profit, but I was really happy to see some of this stuff go. So anyway, this sold along with a shirt. Um, this was just a Kato um, blouse. Both of these were kind of career wear, so I'm kind of assuming that's probably what she purchased this for. Um, this was in my closet for some time as well. I purchased in October of last year. So she purchased both of these items for $20 total. Next, we have some shoes. These are by the brand Tahari. It's Tahari, I think. Um, and these sold for $24. Um, I think I may have relisted these because I was getting quite a few likes, but just not getting any sales. I sent out an offer to likers on that, and she accepted for $24. So relisting does work. I'm going to mention it a couple times during this video because I did relist quite a few of these items. So I was really happy uh, with this sale because I only paid a dollar at my favorite thrift store for these. But be on the lookout for this brand. Um, I would say it's more of a bread and butter brand. I don't make a ton of money off of them. Tahari, be on the lookout for that brand. All right, so next is this. This is an accessory. It's a free people um, phone case. So this was actually new with box. I got it in a thread up box. So I essentially only paid $2. Uh, it didn't sell for as much as I thought that it would sell for, but, um, and it did sit for a little while. I've had this since February, but anyway, it sold for $11. So I was happy with that sale. Next is this Free People top. Uh, this was a relist as well. This was a new with tag blouse um, I purchased for, I think I may have gotten it at Plato's Closet possibly. Um, and so I had it listed more on the higher side, probably around 45 or 50. Um, I relisted it for, I think, 40 and someone came and offered me 30 on this and I went ahead and accepted. I paid $6 for it. So I felt like that was a decent flip on that. Next is another free people. I know a lot of resellers pass on free people, but honestly, this is bread and butter stuff for me. Um, I tend to sell it pretty quickly and for a decent amount. I would say it's more of a bread and butter brand for me. I don't make, like I said, a ton on this. However, this blouse sold for 15. I was really hesitant to pick it up because as you see, there is a ton of distressing holes all throughout, but it's supposed to be that way. Uh, just to clarify, it's definitely supposed to be distressed. So I sold it for $15, but my cost per good was $1. So that was a really good flip for me. Next is this Dooney and Burke. This was another relist for me. Uh, this is something I have had for some time and I was getting tons of people interested in this. Uh, they just weren't purchasing. It is an older style. So um, anyway, I went ahead and relisted it for closer to $30, $35 mark. I had someone offer me $25 and I felt like that was a decent price on this bag. So I did go ahead and accept that offer. Next is this brand Solitaire, and honestly, I picked it up based on its style. I thought that the lace accent around the front was really beautiful, and I loved the like mauve color. 
um, that it was. I felt like that was on trend. So this sold for 13. It did sit for some time, but my cost was only a dollar. So um, I did feel like that was a pretty good sale. I'm not sure that I would pick up this brand again just because it didn't sell for a ton, um, but I did think it was a really pretty blouse and I thought if it didn't sell, I could just wear it, so. <laughs> All right, so next is this Anthropology top. Um, this did sell for a little cheaper than what I, I think I may have had it listed for 29 or 25, um, but it was a very plain blouse. There was this pretty detail on the front, but for the most part, it was just a basic top. So someone came and offered me 14. I felt like that was a great offer, so I did go ahead and accept that. Next is this Champion um, workout tank. And this was one that I was really thinking about keeping because I loved how the back, it had a built-in bra and it had just this really cool detail in the back. Um, but it did sell. Someone came and purchased it for, at full price. I think I had it for quite some time. So I price dropped it a few times. So she came and offered, or she came and purchased this for full price at $9. Um, and this was, I've had since September of last year. So I was really happy to see that go. So next is an American Eagle skirt. Obviously, I didn't make a lot of money on this. It sold for $6. Um, American Eagle is another brand that resellers go back and forth about purchasing. I myself pick it up if it is on trend or um, the jeans tend to do best for me. But I will say the tops and the sweaters do well for me too. Um, so I probably won't pick up the denim skirts anymore unless maybe they're high-waisted. I could see those selling for um, a little bit better money on that. So anyway, sold for six dollars. Didn't make a huge profit on that. Next are these um, Victoria's Secret. Um, let's see. They're the signature striped thigh highs. So these were in my thread up box. If you didn't watch that, um, I was really excited to get these because they were new in their box. Um, and I was just thinking they would be great for Halloween. These were originally 18 and they sold for $12, which is a pretty decent profit considering I paid about $2 for those. I had a, quite a few people interested in those. All right, so next is a bundle, and this was a large bundle, and I sold it for $90, so I'm really excited uh, about this bundle. So it was five different tops. I think they were all, let me check. I believe they're all tops, or there's a dress too, yeah. Okay, so the first top, this is a five-piece bundle, is this um, tribal jeans. This was in one of my thread-up denim boxes, meaning I only paid about a dollar for it. So um, it's listed for 21 and of course this was sold in a bundle. I don't know how much each item was. I probably should have put that together for you guys, but um, as a whole, these five items sold for $90 and I did make a pretty decent profit off of this. I think um, when she bundled it, it was listed at about 140. And so I offered her 90 with discounted shipping and she did accept that. So um, anyway, this is the first one. I don't know much about this brand, but um, I did have a lot of people interested in it and it felt like really great quality. So if you know this brand and you know where it's sold, maybe comment below because I'm not really sure about that, but I just knew that it was good quality. So next is this. This is um, J. Jill. It's a burgundy wine dress. I um, had this in one of my other videos as well. I think I got it in a thread up box as well. Um, yeah, I think it was my the 50 items I got. I'll link that above, but um, I got 50 items in a box for 110, and I believe that was in there. So my cost per good on that was only $1.80. Um, so she purchased that along with Anthropology. I listed this, and buddy, it sold quickly. Um, I had quite a few people interested in this. I know it only shows a few, but some people, once they see something is sold, they don't like it anymore. Um, I know I do that, but I had quite a few people that were very interested in this item. They were bundling it, um, but they just weren't making offers. So she added that. I thought it was beautiful with the front detail there. So she purchased that. Next, she purchased this Free People oversized ivory top, and this was so beautiful. This uh, The detail on this, it had little peacocks all throughout, and it was very oversized, semi-sheer, just a beautiful top that could be worn in so many ways. Um, so she purchased that. And then lastly, she purchased, um, this is something I have had for some time, as you can tell, the background, uh, anything that's newer has the brick back, background, and this just has a plain white. So I had it since October of last year. Um, this is sold at Nordstrom, and the brand is called Beach Lunch Lounge. 
Um, and this is what the tag looks like. And honestly, I really like those items. I think that they're on trend. Uh, I think that they are very well made. So I will pick those items up um, if I see them and they are a good enough price. So like I said, these five items sold in a bundle for $90. All right, so next we have a pair of pants and I'm really surprised that these sold um, as quickly as they did and for the amount that they sold for. So this was in one of my denim boxes from ThreadUp, which is funny because it is denim, but it is white. You expect to get, you know, just the blue denim in those boxes, uh, but it was new. It had um, like a little barb on it from where it was purchased new uh, and you can just tell when something's new. So this was new without tag. The barb was still attached. They were a four petite. So, um, I wasn't sure if they were going to sell, you know, very quickly. That's kind of a hard size to sell. Um, but anyway, I listed them for 14 and someone came and purchased them full price. Didn't even offer anything less. So I was really happy with that sale and she left me a five star review. So, um, just because they're old Navy doesn't mean they're not going to sell. I don't typically pick up old Navy, but, um, yeah, when it's that low of a price, um, I was pretty happy to see that sell. All right, so next is another anthropology piece. I absolutely love picking up anthropology. It sells well for me and it sells for a decent profit in my opinion. So I picked this up, it was only a dollar and I sold it for 22. Beautiful detail, kind of an ivory color, beautiful black detail. And then the bottom there had this like rope embellishment, I guess. Um, so yeah, it sold for 22. I think I had it listed for 35 and me and her went kind of back and forth on the price and we agreed that 22 was a decent um, price. So did go ahead and accept that. Next is this beautiful Lucky Brand uh, floral paisley print. Uh, I have had this for some time since February. I believe I got this in one of my unboxings. I think it might have been from the Emma Thrifts video. I'm not 100% certain. I'll look that up. But anyway, I'll link above uh, the video that this came from. But yeah, super cute color block uh, with some different like patterns on it. So it sold for $14. Uh, I think this was an offer to likers uh, deal on that top. Next is this beautiful bag. It's uh, Ivanka Trump. Uh, and it reminded me of Kate Spade for sure. It definitely had kind of that Kate Spade with the ribbon and the bow. Um, and this thing was pretty much new. Uh, it didn't have any wear whatsoever. The inside had no wear, no stains. I don't think it was used whatsoever. This was a relist though. I was having a lot of people interested, but no offers. So I relisted it and it sold for 29. I think I may have had it listed for 35. So I was happy with that profit. I think I paid $2 for that from Goodwill. Next is this Anne Klein, um, beautiful, this, this, oh, I really wanted to keep this cardigan. It was an open waterfall front. Um, it was new with tag, semi sheer, you can kind of see the writing on my mannequin there. Um, but it was new with tag, like I said, and someone came and purchased it for full price. They didn't offer anything less. It was originally $99. So she paid $35 for this top. Next is an NFL top and this lady um, had actually, she, she had messaged me stating that she was going to a game and needed uh, something with short sleeved and asked if I would ship it as soon as I possibly could. Uh, and so of course I definitely did. She paid the full $10 that I was asking for. Uh, so I didn't make a huge profit considering I paid $2 on it, but I did make a profit. So um, this is the time of year to be looking out for anything NFL. The NFL brand does really well for me as well. I've sold um, other NFL brands before in the past. So be on the lookout for anything having to do with football, you know, just different jerseys and things like that. Those will sell well for you. All right, so next is this Talbot's dress. Um, this sold extremely quickly for me. It was in one of my latest videos. I believe it was also in the 50 items from ThreadUp. Um, and it was in perfect condition. It was in brand new condition. Uh, I think I may have had it listed for 29. Someone offered me 20 and I went ahead and accepted since my price per good was low. Uh, beautiful dress with this beautiful ruffle detail here in the front. Um, Talbot's is not a brand I typically pick up, but I probably would have picked this up had I seen it in the store because it's just a unique design. You could wear that any time of year with the color scheme that they used. So, Next are some Tommy Hilfiger white jean capris. Uh, these did sit for some time and they only sold for 11. Um, so I don't know that I would purchase this again. I think white is hard to sell. And I say that even though I've had a lot of things sell that are white, I have just noticed. <laughs> but 
you know, why you do have to be careful as a buyer, you know, you have to look over those photos because white is super easy to get stains and things like that. But they were a good size. They were a size 10 uh, and they were in like new condition. So um, anyway, these did sell for 11. Um, that was an offer. I think I may have had them listed for closer to 15. So next is this sweater, which is funny. It's Talbot's as well. Um, but I did pick this up because it is a Christmas sweater and, you know, I thought, hey, people may be looking for Christmas stuff already. And lo and behold, it sold extremely quickly um, for $25, which is awesome because I only paid a dollar for this. Um, but it's 100% wool. So I think that might have been part of why it sold so quickly. But who would think that people are already searching for Christmas in August? So let that be a lesson. If you're outsourcing and you see some Christmas sweaters and they're in good condition, you should pick them up, especially if the price is low enough. So yeah, already people shopping for Christmas. <laughs> Who would have thought? Alrighty, so next is this. This is just a classic denim skirt that I got in a thread up box. Uh, did have it listed for closer to 10, I think, um, and she offered seven, but my cost per good was only a dollar on this. So I was happy to see it go. Next is another skirt. This is a Banana Republic skirt. I'm seeing a trend in skirts. This was only a dollar. It cost me a dollar from somebody. I think I may have purchased a big bundle a long time ago from someone and had just waited to list these. So these are definitely more of a fall vibe. That might be why I waited to list. But they're size 10, just a tweed pencil skirt sold for $10. Next is this I've had for some time and I'm really glad to get it sold. I had it just, I had price dropped it so many times because it is, you know, an older inventory item I purchased in October of last year. So it sold for $6, just a beautiful sheer or semi sheer color block top. It's not by anything special. You know, the, the company is just rhyme and echo. So, um, you know, I don't even know where that sold, but I would assume a department store, but yeah, so that sold for $6. Probably would not pick that up again, but happy to see that go. All right, so next is this loft. This is a softened chambray button-down top. This was in a thread-up box as well, so I essentially paid $1. Um, I had it just price dropped. Someone came and purchased it for $10. Next, we have some shoes. These, oh, I wanted to keep these so bad, but it, they didn't fit. My foot is kind of borderline wide, and they weren't fitting properly. Um, so I went ahead and listed them. I did purchase them for myself. Uh, so I was really sad that these didn't fit, but super cute, lucky brand. These were the Espadrille wedges and they sold for $20. I think I may have relisted these because I had, was getting a lot of people interested, but no sales. So I went ahead and relisted them for 25. Someone offered me 20 and I felt like that was a great offer. So I did go ahead and accept on that. Next is a pair of American Eagle jeans. Uh, once again, bread and butter pair of jeans. I think I had them listed for 16. Then they had the closet clear out. So I price dropped them for 12 and someone came and purchased them. So I only paid a dollar. So that was a decent flip for me. Next, we have some J. Crew jeans. These are the matchstick skinny. They are size 30, so that's a bigger size. Um, these were from a thread up box as well. Essentially paid $1 and they sold for 11. So I felt like that was a pretty good flip. Next is this Vineyard Vines top. I may have had this in one of my haul videos. Um, Let's see, but I only paid $1. Yep, I remember it was at my favorite thrift store. It's called Community Chest. Everything there is a dollar. Uh, so I was really excited to see this um, Vineyard Vines logo shirt. Uh, just kind of a graphic tee, but it sold for $19, which is awesome because I only paid $1. Um, I do believe that this was a offer. She sent me the uh, offer for $19. I did go ahead and accept that. So next is a bundle and this lady, um, she actually purchased one of these. This is a three piece bundle. She purchased one of these items and, you know, paid the full shipping and then went ahead and purchased two more. So what I did is I canceled both of her orders, made a bundle for her and sent her the offer. Um, and she was really happy that I saved her on, you know, paying double the shipping. Um, so yeah, both, or excuse me, all three of these items sold for uh, $40. So the first item was this American Eagle. Once again, I'm selling American Eagle. So I hope that this is helpful. You know, I really love picking up American Eagle, especially items like this. This is a beautiful blouse. Everyone knows I'm a sucker for floral too, but beautiful blouse. I love the, the keyhole in the front and the back, just a beautiful ruffled top. So she purchased that. 
along with this intro dress. This was actually a reposh from my friend Taylor. Uh, so she, um, I purchased this from her in a bundle. She was having a big sale. Um, and the sides just, I don't know why, did not fit me properly. So anyway, I went ahead and resold that for kind of a lower price just to get it sold. And then she also purchased this third item and this is these cabbie jeans. I was really happy to see these go. I've had these since uh, September of last year, so almost a year. They are a long, so um, they were much longer than a normal like 10. So I definitely noted that in the description along with measurements. So like I said, she purchased all three items for $40. Next is this Disney Parks um, wristlet. So I don't know if you've heard, but anytime you can find Disney Parks, see how the tag there, it says Disney Parks. Uh, anytime you can find something that is sold at Disney Parks, it sells for a pretty penny. Obviously it didn't make a huge profit on this, but I have heard the like tops um, graphic tees can go for a good amount, especially sweaters and things like that. So something to be on the lookout for our Disney Parks brand. Um, I only paid about $2 for this in a thread up ba a box and it sold for $13 and she left me a really sweet review as well. So next was another bundled sale. I finally sold a Ray Dunn item. I have quite a few of those in my closet right now. I thought I would test them out on Poshmark, but I was super nervous about shipping this. So I packaged it really well, like with a lot of bubble wrap. I put it in its own separate box because she also purchased some jeans. Um, and I just really, I know that the box wasn't pretty. I left her a note, you know, saying, I'm sorry, it's not beautifully packaged, but I wanted to make sure that this mug arrived to you in one piece. So anyway, she was really thankful that I had done that for her. So she left me a really great review. Um, but she also got these um, jeans. These were in one of my latest boxes, thread up boxes. They are in acid wash denim. They're high rise and they're the skinny. So she purchased both items for $24. And like I said, she left me a really sweet note um, on the packaging of the mug. Next, we have this American Rebel laced up black motorcycle tee. I have had this for some time, so I was happy to see this go. Uh, it sold for $12. I essentially paid $1, but it had this really cool kind of graphic tee lace up top. So I think that would be really cool if your husband was, you know, a motorcycle rider and you rode with him to wear that. So I thought that was really cute. All right. So the last item that I sold was this altered state, um, top. I've had this for some time, but I did pick it up for a dollar at my favorite thrift store. So it sold for $16. I believe, um, this might've been an offer. So anyway, I was really happy to see that go. Just a beautiful pink color, asymmetric hem. I did wear it in one of my videos as well. So anyway, that brings us to the end of this video. I'm going to talk about um, the totals really quickly. So the total before fees and cost of goods was $649. And then the total after all of the Poshmark fees, my cost per good is $388. So right at $400 for the first half of August, which I think is a great total in my opinion for someone who is like me and I am just part-time. I'm not full-time. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know to make more content like this. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you on my channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.